So texting using iMessage on your iPhone is pretty self-explanatory and I'm sure you all have a good idea of how to use it. But with iOS 16, there's some brand new features on the iOS update that you can actually use with text message. And one of those is to be able to unsend or edit text messages after you send them. And I wanna show you how to do this because it's about time they brought this feature to text message. I think it's super cool and it's very useful. So I wanna show you how this works. So if I type in hi right now and click send, all I have to do is just hold down on that sent message and I have the option to undo send or edit send. So I'm gonna click undo send right here. And now that's gonna disappear and the person I sent that message to, they won't see that text message either. It will be completely erased. It says you unsent a message. So if they're not updated to iOS 16, they still might be able to see the message. But by this time, I'm sure everyone's gonna be updated to iOS 16 soon enough. So they won't be able to see that unsent message. But I also wanna show you how to edit a text message as well. So say I type hi again and like that, and then I hold down on that button again, I can actually edit this message and change what I wanna say. So I can say, hi, how are you instead? And now that text message will be edited and I just click send right here. And now it's gonna be edited. It's gonna show that it's been edited and it might show that on the person you sent that to as well. But this is how you can unsend and edit a text message on iMessage. Like I said, I'm glad they brought this feature to the iPhone. It's about time. It comes in very handy if you mess up a message or need to unsend something. Right now we're looking at one of the photos I took of my Apple Watch. And with iOS 16 and my iPhone 14, you can actually lift a subject from that photo and send that without sending the background. And this might be confusing at first, but I wanna show you how this works. So you're going to see if I hold down on the Apple Watch, it's going to lift from the background here. And if I let go, I'm going to have the option to copy this right here. Now I want to show you what this is all about. If I go to my text messages right here and then go to this specific person and click paste right here, it's going to show the iPhone or the Apple Watch that I lifted from that photo without the background. And I can send that to this specific person without having to show the background. This is a super cool feature that is brand new in iOS 16. And it's a way you can just lift certain subjects from that photo. So you can have that shown without the background. I think it's super cool. Now you can get to see this without the background. I definitely enjoy it. It's a brand new feature for iOS 16 that I definitely recommend trying out. Also scan certain texts and subjects from photos using your text message as well. And I wanna show you how to do this. If we hold down right here and click this right here, this icon, you're gonna see that my camera pops up and say I wanna scan a certain text of an object that I have, like this deodorant right here. All I have to do is just put my camera right here and now you can see that Harry's pops up, which is the name of this product. All I have to do is now that this has popped up in my text message, I can just click send right here. And if I wanna scroll down and choose odor or sweat control as well, I can choose that and just click send as well right here. And this is one way you can actually scan any products or text right from your camera on your iPhone 14. I definitely recommend trying that if you wanna show someone a product that you're buying or any other text that you wanna show on a picture, you can scan that and send them directly through your iMessage like I just did on my iPhone 14. Now the next app I wanna talk about is Translate Now, which is available on the App Store and it's great for iOS 16 and the iPhone 14 because with Translate Now, whether you're traveling to new places or trying to get started learning a new language, Thanks to Translate Now, the language is no longer a barrier for communication, and I wanna show you all what this new app has to offer you. And you can also enable Translate Now on your keyboard, so when you're using it, if we click this right here, it's gonna say Enable Keyboard, and you can easily write in 60 plus languages within this favorite app right here. All you have to do is go to Settings, tap Keyboard, and then you can set this up right here on your iPhone 14. So just to show you, we're now on the keyboard section of the Translate Now app on our settings. We just turn that on, and then we can also allow full access, and when using one of these keyboards, the keyboard can access all of your data. So we turn that on right now. And now we have full access to the keyboard with Translate Now. And I want to show you how to use this. So for example, if I type good morning right here, just like this, you're going to see that if I click this icon right here, now watch what happens. It's going to translate that into Spanish, Buenos Dias. And I can choose this for any language, not just Spanish, tons to choose from. And this is one way you can actually convert your messages on keyboard using the Translate Now app. With iOS 16 and the iPhone 14, you can now choose and schedule when you want to send emails to specific people. And I want to show you a little bit about how this works. So if we go to my mail app right now, I'm just going to choose any random email, just like this one from Apple right here. And I click reply right here. I'm going to click reply 
And I'm gonna start typing right here. I'm gonna click hi there. And this is pretty cool because if you wanna send an email but you don't wanna choose a specific time you wanna send that out, you don't wanna send it right in the moment, you guys have the ability to do that with iOS 16. So I just typed hi there right here. I'm gonna hold down this arrow right here. And now I have all these options through some. So I can choose send now, send at 9 p.m. tonight, 8 a.m. tomorrow, 8 a.m. Monday, or I can click send later and I can choose a specific time I wanna send that email out. So like I said, if you don't wanna send an email out right away and you wanna have a certain set date or time that you send that email out, you can now do that with the mail app on iOS 16. And I definitely recommend using that if you plan on using this new feature with your iPhone 14. Now, the next app I wanna show you is one that's already pre-installed when you get your iPhone 14, and that is the Contacts app. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm showing you the Contacts app as one of our favorite apps for the iPhone 14. But with iOS 16, the Contacts app actually offers a brand new feature that I wanted to show you all, and I think it is super cool. So if we go to Contacts right here, you're gonna see it's a normal Contacts app that you've seen throughout the years with your iPhone. But right here, this is the brand new feature I wanna talk about where it says four duplicates found. So with the Contacts app now with iOS 16, you can actually merge duplicate cards for a contact and combine the cards, keeping all the unique information in a single card for that specific contact. So now when you have multiple contacts that are under the same information, you can actually merge those so it doesn't take up any data or storage on your iPhone. So let's check it out. If we click view duplicates right here, you're gonna see four contacts that I found and I can merge them all together so there's no more data and less contacts you have right on your list. So let's click merge all, for example, right here, and let's click merge duplicates. So now all of those duplicate contacts that I had in my iPhone are now merged together. So there's no need to worry about having the same contact with the same information more than once on your iPhone 14. And this is a brand new feature I wanted to show you on the contacts app, but let's move on to the next app now. I wanna take a quick moment of your time to introduce an easy, affordable wireless service that you can buy online and download an app for it, which is Mint Mobile. And with Mint Mobile, there's no retail stores, no inflated prices, just huge direct to you savings on unlimited talk, text, and data from the nation's largest 5G network. So let's take a look at what this incredible service has to offer. Mint Mobile has positioned themselves as the best and smartest wireless service out there with tons of deals and plans you can choose from. And to ease into the wireless service, you can even start with a seven day free trial to get things started. As you can see, you can choose from tons of options with the intro offer starting at $15 per month. And the best part about Mint Mobile is there's no salespeople and there's no stores. So you can cut out the overhead associated with traditional retail and no matter what plan you choose all of them include unlimited talk, text, and data on the nation's largest 5G network. And also, in addition to this, they have free calling to Mexico and Canada, which is incredible. And also, they have a hotspot slash tethering, which is included right here. So all these plans, depending on what you choose, there's no need to worry if you're going to get unlimited talk, text, because they all have it. And on top of this, you don't even have to get a new device. You can bring your own unlocked phone with you and use your current phone number to set up Mint Mobile. So you don't have to worry about buying a new one. You can use your same one that you have right Right here. So if you want an affordable and reliable wireless service like Mint Mobile, I suggest go download the app and setting up a plan ASAP. Plans start at $15 per month. And like I said, you can choose any options that work for you and go from there and you can switch at any time. So thank you all for watching this part of the video and go get Mint Mobile set up ASAP. You do not want to miss out on it. With iOS 16, you guys can also share play via text message, which is a brand new feature for this phone and this iOS update. And essentially what this means is you can actually share any audio or content you guys are watching at the moment in your text messaging app and send that to whoever you want and they can actually watch along or listen along to whatever you're watching at the moment while in the text message app and while you guys are doing this you guys can actually text about this while it's going on and i want to show you guys a little bit how this is done so say for example we go to apple tv right here and now you guys can see we have spider-man homecoming right here and say i want to share that with someone who wants to watch this movie with me and we can type and text about it while we're watching it i want to show you guys how this is done so all you have to do is just hold down on this movie or whatever you guys want to share then we can click the option share right here and then now we have the option right here where it says share play. So this is super cool. I'm gonna click share play right here. And now we have the option to share that with any of our contacts we want. So I wanna share it with my mom or my friend. I can just type that in. And now we can either FaceTime or text about that movie while watching it at the same time. This is a brand new feature and it's very efficient if you guys wanna talk about a movie or a song that you guys are listening to. I definitely recommend trying that out if you guys like watching or listening to the same type of music or watching the same type of movies. You guys 
can actually watch it right at the same time and text or FaceTime about it while doing so. So definitely try out that share play if you guys want to watch something together. It's super cool and some brand new feature on iOS 16 I wanted to share with you guys. So definitely try that out when you guys get the chance. It is super cool. You'll also notice on the iPhone 14 and iOS 16, the notifications now appear at the bottom of the screen opposed to covering all the nice displays that you created on the wallpapers. So as you can see, it's located right here. I definitely prefer this way so they're out of my way when I'm looking at my screen. But there's actually a way you can change to go back to the original way notifications were shown. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We just got to go to settings right here. And once we're on settings, it's super easy to do. You just want to go to notifications right here. And as you can see, I have it in list view right here, but you can choose between stack or count. I prefer keeping it as list the way it is. As I can see, my notifications are at the bottom, which are out of the way. So I definitely prefer this. But if you prefer the old way, you can choose any of these options as well. So for example, we have list right now, but I want to show you what the other ones look like. So if we click list for or count, for example, and we go back to my wall, paper, you're going to see I have a tab that says one notification opposed to actually showing the notification. And if we just tap that right here, then the notification is going to pop up. So it's completely out of your way. I prefer the other way, but this is completely up to you. And you can just edit this right in your notification center on your settings. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about for your Apple Watch is how easily and surprisingly efficiently you can send text messages on your Apple Watch. So I bet most of you guys assume that since it's an Apple Watch and has a much smaller screen than your iPhone, it might be more difficult to send any notifications or text anyone on your Apple Watch. But I want to show you guys that it's actually very easy to do. And the Apple Watch Series 7 makes it so much more efficient when using your Apple Watch to text people. And I want to show you guys how to do that. So for example, if we go to text messages right here, I'm going to click text messages app right here. And I want to start a new message. For example, I'm just going to click new message right here and I can add a contact. For example, I'm going to scroll down and choose my mom. And by clicking create message, you guys are going to see we have tons of already customized text messages you guys can send right off the bat by hello, what's up, on my way, okay? All these options you guys can choose that are normal text messages that you receive and send on a daily basis. You can send those right here. So for example, I want to say hello to my mom. I can send that. And then I can also type to... But let's just send that first. And I also want to text her, for example, saying, how's your day? You guys can actually do this very easily on your Apple Watch. All you have to do is just swipe from one letter to the next. And it's going to pick up what you're saying very intuitively. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. If I want to say, how's your day? It's super easy to do. Watch what I do as I type this in. I'm just going to swipe, how's your day just like that. I'm going to click send like that. As you can see, it's much easier than you'd expect while using your Apple Watch. People would think that since the screen's so small, it's harder to do this, but the Apple Watch is very compatible when sending text messages. So I definitely recommend trying it if you're in a rush and you don't have time to pull out your phone or if you want to send a quick message. Like I said, the Apple iMessage gives you all of these base text messages that you normally send like, hello, how's your day on my way? All those types of texts you guys can see when typing a message. So definitely give it a try when you get the chance. I definitely recommend trying it. And that's one way to use the text messages on your Apple Watch or your smartwatch. So depending on the lock screen that you have turned on at the moment and set to on your iPhone, you can actually choose a focus mode for that specific wallpaper. So for example, if we hold down this icon right here or this wallpaper, you're going to see this little tab down here that says focus. So if we click on that, now you can link a certain focus mode with this specific lock screen. For example, say I want for this specific lock screen, I want do not disturb linked with this. So I can turn this on. So now whenever I'm on this specific lock screen, my phone's going to be in do not disturb mode. As you can see at the bottom of my screen, it says do not disturb. But say I want to have a different lock screen signal, a different focus mode. If I hold down my phone again and go to this one, for example, and click focus. Now I can have this one in sleep mode. So now whenever I go to sleep, I set my phone to this specific wallpaper and now it's going to be in sleep mode for this specific wallpaper when I want to go to bed. And you can do this with any of your wallpapers that you have. You can just choose a focus mode by linking that and clicking that right here and just choose whichever one you want on your iPhone 14. I'm going to turn this off for now. But whenever you want to link a focus mode, just know you can do that with the lock screen if you have your phone updated to iOS 16 on your iPhone 14. And for sleep mode, as you saw, I linked this specific lock screen with sleep mode on my iPhone 14. And if you click this icon right here, you're going to see I have sleep turned on until tomorrow at 745. Now, I only turn this on at night. So when it actually comes to 745 a.m. in the morning, it'll actually shut off sleep mode and my phone will be back to normal with its normal screen just like this. So for example, so if you like to spend time on your phone, 
phone before you go to bed, but you know it's time to go to sleep, you can just turn on this sleep icon right here. Your phone's gonna go black, and it's gonna ask you if you wanna go in to go on your phone before doing so, because you're in sleep mode. So I definitely recommend turning that on before you go to bed. It's very helpful when going to bed. And also if you pair this with night mode, like I previously showed you in the control center, you can actually prevent any eye damage and get a great night's sleep with the help of your iPhone 14. Also, just remember you can go to the control center and choose any of these options right here through that. But this is a little bit about the do not disturb modes you can choose on your iPhone 14 with iOS 16. You can always create a new focus mode right here and you can choose specific categories you wanna focus on. You can custom, driving, fitness, gaming, anything you wanna do, you can actually create a focus mode for that specific focus on your iPhone 14. So we'll dive into that later, but that's one way you can edit and customize your focus mode in your control center or on your lock screen with your iPhone 14. I hope you enjoyed today's video. These are the best tips, tricks, and hidden features for the new iPhone 14 and iOS 16. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you to go to appfindvip.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. Also go give us a follow at Fine VIP, which is our Instagram account where we share the best tips, tricks, and hidden features on all iPhone 14 content, Android, and other Apple products. And I also encourage you guys to go to bestrewardsapps.com to see all these incredible apps like Quick Thoughts and Rakuten that allow you to earn incredible rewards and prizes right at your fingertips. These are all affiliates of ours and they're all great apps that are worth checking out. So definitely check out all these links, you guys. They're gonna be in the description of this video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.